Welcome to VTU Bros Hub. In this video, we cover the most expected and repeated questions from Graph Theory Module 5. For VTU CSE fourth semester under the CBCS 2022 scheme, let's begin. Alan, define chromatic number and chromatic polynomial. What is the chromatic number of a graph? It is the minimum number of colors needed to color the vertices so that no two adjacent vertices share the same color. Next, what is the chromatic polynomial? It counts how many ways we can color the graph using K colors, such that adjacent vertices don't get the same color. Now refer to the graph shown in the PDF. The chromatic number and polynomial are calculated. Q, define matching and complete matching. What is a matching in a graph? It is a set of edges where no two edges share a common vertex. This avoids overlapping connections. What is a complete or perfect matching? It connects every vertex to exactly one edge in the matching. Now look at the PDF image. Two complete matchings are marked in the given graph. Query 3. Define covering and minimal covering. What is a covering in graph theory? A covering is a set of vertices, such that every edge is connected to at least one of them. What is minimal covering? It's the smallest such set that still covers all edges. Check the graph now on screen. Two minimal coverings are shown step by step. Fair. State and prove the five-color theorem. What is the five-color theorem? It states that every planar graph can be colored using at most five colors, such that no two adjacent vertices share the same color. The proof is shown now in the PDF image. It uses reduction and induction methods. Who five? Prove that every tree with two or more vertices is too chromatic. This is a popular exam question. Any tree with two or more vertices is always too chromatic. This is because trees do not have cycles, so we can alternate two colors while coloring levels. Refer to the answer shown now. It explains this using a simple tree graph. 6. Prove a graph with at least one edge is too chromatic, if and only if it has no odd length circuits. What does this mean? If a graph has no odd cycles, it can be colored with just two colors. But if it has even one odd cycle, we need more colors. The proof for this is very important. It is shown clearly in the answer image now. Q7, write a note on the greedy coloring algorithm. What is the greedy coloring algorithm? It colors each vertex one by one, using the smallest available color not used by its neighbors. Steps are, step one, choose an order. Step two, start with color one. Step three, for each vertex, pick the lowest color not used by neighbors. The diagram on screen shows an example. A triangle graph with A, B, and C is colored step by step. State and prove the four-color theorem. What is the four-color theorem? It says every planar graph can be colored with just four colors, so that no two adjacent regions have the same color. The proof is very complex and computer-assisted. In VTU exams, you only need the statement and concept. The explanation is now shown in your answer sheet. All the best. Score 80-plus easily. Stay focused and good luck.